a good look at this video. It shows, it shows a car taking off after hitting a woman. You'll see there's the woman right there hitting the woman on Glenwood Avenue in Raleigh. The woman who is doing okay tells WRAL the move was intentional. That driver remains in jail tonight. WRAL's Aaron Thomas is live where this happened. Aaron, the victim is sharing concerns for other pedestrians tonight. Yeah, so here's the deal, Ashley. That woman was hit in this exact crosswalk behind me. She says she's speaking out because she doesn't want any other pedestrians who walk this popular area to experience what she went through. Court records show this accused driver has other instances of trying to hit other people around Raleigh. A woman seen in this video crossing Glenwood Avenue on September 6th talking to WREL after this happened. I did go up on the hood of the car, which launched me probably about 10 feet. Uh, landed right on my right hip, had a pretty big asphalt uh, scrape, a uh, couple bruises. The woman, who wants to stay anonymous, is doing okay. She says she and her girlfriend were attempting to use the crosswalk. She says the driver stopped in the middle of the crosswalk and rolled down her window. She decided to point finger guns at us and just repetitively kind of with a smile on her face. She kept walking and got hit by the car. People who saw the car drive away posted about it on social media. So thanks to the powers of Reddit, I was able to get the license plate. And the identity of the driver, 31-year-old Julia Johnson. WREL has covered a story involving Johnson before, this time back in April. NC State Police accused her of intentionally hitting a person on her motorcycle twice with her car after a dispute on campus. Court records show no convictions on the list of charges Johnson's previously faced, including assault with a deadly weapon. The judges are doing the things they can do, but apparently she just continues to meet those bond requirements and, and be released. Attorney Lee Turner says the charges aren't more serious. He notes the latest action from the judge to keep the public safe from the accused driver. A $50,000 bond with monitoring and also ordering no operation of a car. And we are working on hearing from Julia Johnson's attorney since Julia Johnson remains in jail tonight. She is scheduled to appear in court next month. Ashley. Aaron Thomas reporting live in Raleigh. Thank you.